Hello friends, welcome you in KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to write a program to check whether a given number is ARM strong number or not. So before going into the source code, let's try to understand what is uh, basically ARM strong number. Yeah. So to understand what is ARM strong number, uh, I'll go to the my blog kkjavatutorials.com and here you can see uh, I have given the definition of, of uh, ARM strong number. So definition says an n digit number that is the sum of uh, nth power of the its digit is called an ARM strong number. In other words we can define ARM strong number as below like an arm a strong number is a number that is equal to the sum of the digits in a in a number raised to the power of number of the digits uh, in the number so let's try to understand through example let's uh, let's say we want to check whether 371 is a arm strong number or not so how we can check so what you have to do so in 371 there are three digits right so what you have to do you have to uh, take like 3 to the power 3 3 is nothing but number of digits in whole number plus 7 raised to 3 plus 1 raised to 3 and if you calculate these things and if you get the 371 itself then that number is a uh, basically arm strong number similarly if uh, we look into and another example like uh, 9471 so there are four digits in this number right so we'll see 9 to the power 4 plus 4 to the power 4 plus 7 to the power 4 plus 4 to the power 4 and if this calculations comes as 9474 that means this number is a arm strong number right one thing you will have to always keep in mind obviously 0 and 1 are also not arm strong number because in 0 you have a 1 digit and uh, 0 to the power 1 is 0 itself similarly in 1 you have a 1 digit and 1 to the power 1 you get the 1 itself so by default 0 and 1 is the arm strong number there are many numbers which is non, uh, no, not arm strong number like 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 something like that like 1 0 0 so we'll see through an example now let's understand our source code so here i have written this program and same program I have posted on the, my blog as well. So here, uh, if you look into the uh, source code, first of all, I am taking, uh, I am making use of uh, basically a scanner to take a number from the keyboard. So when we will run this program, then uh, this program asks to enter a number, right? And that number we are making use of next int uh, uh, of a scanner, and we are putting this uh, number into the uh, this number variable and just we are making a call to this method each arm strong number by passing this number and this is the local method private method there we are checking if number is private or not if that number sorry if number is arm strong or not if number is arm strong then this method is going to return true as false yeah so here uh, this is the r input number right so first of all we have converted this number into the string using a string value of method so string is having a lot of overloaded value of method one of the method which accepts integer and that converts into the uh, corresponding string now we have calculated the length of this string and that we are putting into the uh, length of number local value now we make another copy of uh, this input number and putting basically copying this number into another variable is called a number copy we have initialized sum equals to zero now we have a while loop and this is the main logic what we have written here so first of all uh, uh, tell me how you can get the uh, basically remainder of any number like, let's say you have a number 371 how would you get the remainder so answer is divided by the modulus operator divided by modulus 10 so if your number is 371 and you, you do 371 modulus division 10 then you will get the remainder as 1 right if your number is uh, let's say 100 you do the modulus division then of course uh, remainder would be 0 so we are doing the modulus operator right so let's say let's say let's take one huge case uh, my number is 371 so 371 
modulus division 10 that means i'll get the last digit means remainder is 1 and that is our last digit now here what i am doing sum equals to sum plus we have a math uh, basically class which is having a met uh, method is called power pow which takes uh, two number right uh, first of all uh, here we have a we are taking the remainder right and remainder to the power we have to calculate the uh, basically uh, uh, how many digits uh, you have in the number so let's say we take an example 371 so uh, here remainder would be the 1 371 means we are getting the last uh, digit and making the power of its length means 3 right so if you convert 371 into uh, a string and if you calculate the length then that would give you 3 so we got the 1 to the power 3 first that is the last digit now when and now after that we will remove the last digit from the number so 371 divided by 10 means you will get the uh, 34 only right so last digit will be truncated right now in second iteration this will check uh, 34 is uh, still not zero again you get, go inside and you do the 34 uh, modulus division of 10 means you get the 4 now again uh, previous uh, 1 is to 3 already that is here and you do the uh, here remainder is 4 to the power 3 again and this way we will again will divide 34 by 10 will get the 3 and 3 is again not 0 then same logic will be uh, basically same iteration uh, logic for the same iteration will happen and finally you will get the sum equals to uh, basically for 3 71 3 is to 3 plus 7 raised to 3 plus 1 raised to 3 and here out of the loop we are checking if the sum what we have calculated in the while loop is equal to the this input number that means that number is armstrong and that's the reason we are returning to true else we are returning false so here uh, we made use of the ternary operator if you are not aware about the ternary operator then I will tell you this is the kind of uh, uh, basically shortcut form of if else right so in if what do you write you, you would write if sum equals to number then return true else return false so this is the shortcut form of if else yeah so I hope you understood uh, how logic basically works um, basically internally right uh, as far as uh, source code concerned this source code i have posted on the uh, my uh, blog on this page blog blog page so this uh, page i'm going to i'm going to mention in the my video description itself uh, so let's uh, now try to run this application for few inputs let's say i want to check uh, whether 371 is the arm strong or num not what we have discussed right now so if i am checking saying that 371 is the arm strong number let's check for a few more so like um, let's say 0 so saying that 0 is also arm strong 1 of course will be arm strong let's say check uh, like um, 1 2 3 of course this not be a arm strong number because if you calculate 1 raised to 3 plus 2 raised to 3 plus 3 raised to 3 this will not come 123 right so i have tested for the few inputs uh, you can uh, basically copy this source code from my blog and you, you can try it out for the some other output uh, other input as well so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial